Hi, good morning. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwa. First Lady Rebecca Kufado has challenged women to strive for excellence in the boardroom. She was speaking at the launch of the AGI Women in Business Initiative. Here's more from day two of the AGI Industrial Summit and Exhibition in Accra. The day also saw some captains of industry exchange thought leadership ideas on business competitiveness. First Lady Rebecca Kufuado in a speech called for more women to take up roles in the boardrooms arguing that the best performing businesses the world over are those with majority women workforce. Speaking at the launch of the AGI Women in Business, the First Lady resolved to provide the best support to help make women in business more competitive. Companies with female leadership tend to do better in many respects. <laughs> Firms with more women at the top are more focused on better environmental stewardship. So a lot more needs to be done. For example, in my opinion, there are far too few women in our boardrooms. This excludes much of the unique contributions of women to decision-making in our corporate world. Touching on the Continental Free Trade Agreement, Rebecca Kufuado charged the AGI to adapt pragmatic steps to stay ahead of their game so as to reap the desired benefits. The formation of this group is timely and relevant because several international trade protocols are impacting on the way we do business. It is therefore incumbent on our local businesses to be ready for this new dawn. Individually, you have formed companies and enterprises of repute, which are serving the Ghanaian economy and international markets. On his part, President of the AGI, Dr. Yao Udujenfi, reaffirmed the AGI's resolve to put women at the forefront of decision making to make them more competitive within the African market. Mr. President, and the fund of association, the person of late Dr. Mrs. Esther of including fame, the fact that it was funded by a woman makes it mandatory that we pay special attention to our women in this association. The launch saw women executives of the AGI Women in Business adorned while the First Lady interacted with some exhibitors on display at the exhibition. Now, players within the informal trading sector have been challenged to intensify record-keeping practices to enable them to have easy access to credit. MD of Ecobank, Dan Saki, who stated this, noted that the lack of information sharing between financial institutions and informal traders has scaled down the numbers and the frequency with which credit is accessed. He was speaking at the launch of Ecobank's Omni Light Digi Banking Park. There's more in this report. Nobody can sit here and debate whether SME is important. It is important. MD of Ecobank and Regional Executive Anglophone West Africa, Dan Saki, says the main reason most businesses in the informal sector have challenges accessing credit from financial institutions is the lack of information sharing and trust. At the launch of Ecobank's OmniLight Digibanking app targeted at the informal sector, Dan Saki explained that his outfit in close partnership with AFB will be using the newly introduced mobile app to track the spending and revenue patterns of traders. Between us and the various SMEs, the relationship has to improve. The reason why it is not where it should be is because of lack of information. Lack of information on our part because, as I've said, we are not traders, but we need to come to your level and understand. The OmniLite Deji Banking Pack includes a minimum operating balance of 100 CDs with no monthly charges, among others. Present at the launch was the president of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin, who represented Ghana's trading community. He urged the business community to take advantage of the banking app. Um, this is the opportune time. They are saying that prove yourself for the credit that you want by ensuring that you use this facility and then the turnover that you have that is reflected on your portal is what will guarantee you the credit that you want. On her part, President of the Makola Women's Association noted the Omni Light Digibanking Pack will go a long way to deal with the issue of theft and arm robbery in the various markets. If we get something so safe like this, that digging this thing, I think it will save us our money 
and it will make us secure that we will know that when we are traveling, we will not get any issues with armed robbers and so on. Because already uh, many will be on that phone. When even the phone is lost, uh, your money is there, you can retrieve it with that new phone. The Okobank Omnilite Digibanking Pack is expected to enhance working capital and of course increase access and also increase access to new markets. And that's it for business.